Newsflash, U.S. company creates in-ear language translator. Ooh, shit. Boy, what? Whoa, that's crazy. Yeah, uh, explain. <laughs> <clears throat> Waverly Labs, a company based in New York City, claims to have developed a headset that fits into the ear and translates conversations in real time. Beth. What? In Name real time? Pi- yeah. Rosetta Stone going out. People lazy. Rosetta Stone going out. <laughs> <laughs> Named Pilot, the device uses translation technology embedded in an app. Waverly Labs, founded by Andrew Ocho, says he got the idea after meeting a French girl. The plans are to support European-based romance and Germanic languages first, with Slavic, Semitic, Hindi, and East Asian languages on the horizon. Okay. If Google has this technology working like like tip top already, that's really crazy to me because Siri can't even understand what I'm saying. So I'm just like, how do you know they're not gonna try? Like, if that thing gets something wrong, you can crucially say something and mess yeah. up a whole relationship, like. Uh, the, uh, uh, the, Google, they, the Google voice capture thing is actually pretty accurate, or at least when I use it for YouTube, yeah. it like picks up like, cause I guess it uses that, you know, when it reads your mind kind of, so uh-huh. it knows what you're about to say. <laughs> yeah, Google and Tags YouTube be reading people's minds, so I don't know, they probably know how, if anybody knows how. You said his name was Andrew Ocho? Yeah, or Ochoa. 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 Andrew Ocho is the coolest name ever. <laughs> Uh, Ocho is still cool. The expected price is $410. That's it? I don't pay that. that. Yeah. Pay that. <laughs> and there's a current campaign, crowdfunding campaign. Okay. So, so go to the website for more. Word. So it's like in this GoFundMe stages kind of? Yeah. yeah. Wait, it plans to release it. next year. Google needs funding. That's kind of... <laughs> <laughs> it's like Disney being like... We need some funding for this next movie. You got, you got the money. <laughs> what, what it isn't Google. It's a company called Waverly Labs. Waverly okay. Labs. Okay. Well, you said uh, it was it was starting off with like the romance languages and stuff. Yeah. Okay. What are the romance languages exactly? I think Spanish. I don't know what else. French. I know French is the only thing Italian. that I would like. I guess, obviously, it's but Italian, uh, I, I don't know. What I'm, uh, why those first? <laughs> Russian. Why they, I think it's the, the ones that are written in Arabic characters. Then it couldn't be French, could it? No, I mean, French is written with like, the normal letters. Yeah. So, it's French is not a romance language. No, it is. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Arabic is in, like, like our... Letters, like, the letters we use. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. I thought you meant, okay. Where would you see the world if everybody knew or everybody was able to talk to anybody no matter what? It gets shut. I don't know. I I know Americans wouldn't be liked anymore. (laughs) I mean, they're not liked already. (laughs) No, I, I, I think it could be beneficial, but I think, I don't know, just everybody having that. I, I, that that could be that could be beneficial and detrimental at the same time because it's like well not detrimental it's just that like I feel like we're finding more and more ways to not think like the the art of learning a language was just you know I mean, so coveted before it's like hey you're a, you're bilingual like that's that's something special like that that takes that whole factor out if it becomes like a mainstream thing and like it's something that everybody can afford one day then just imagine like it takes that factor out for jobs that takes translators jobs away that, that it's, that's a, a whole culture change so I agree with you on the translators thing because that is a that's a job and no one should have to lose their job like that but okay I mean <laughs> yeah. You're, yeah great you're bilingual we don't need that doesn't matter anymore like that yeah, I find yeah. that is a good thing yeah. in a way it does kind of like stop that whole um or at least I hope it would stop like Americans or English speakers being like speak English. Yeah, so. yeah because we do that. I imagine <laughs> it'd be funny if somebody had one of those in like before it got mainstream and they didn't know it and somebody was talking like you remember on Game of Thrones where uh, uh, what you call it thought Daenerys didn't speak uh, Valyrian and yeah. <laughs> he was insulting her and all of that and yeah and she just came through. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, what'd you think? Let us know in the comments down below, or you can check out our video over here for some more of that good old sleeping in class goodness. Timmy didn't fall down the well. It was Lassie. Hit that like button and smash that subscribe button, baby. Oh, yeah.
Sorry. 